Okay, we're here at the Kyoto Cultural History Art Museum where there is a Andy Warhol exhibit. You guys know I'm a fan of Andy Warhol, so yeah, dude, we gotta go see it. So we're gonna go check that out. There's also the Museum Ludwig Cologne. What is that? Dude. This is like Museum Row. I didn't even know this. Oh man, I don't have an hour. We gotta make this happen. Okay, I just got in. Got about an hour to be here. This is a beautiful museum. I really should have worked out a way to spend like a good half a day here, but you know, you only have four days, so we don't have that much time. I'm just gonna take a quick breather. There is the Andy Warhol exhibit over there, I believe, and there's a Sanrio exhibit exhibition that's interesting um those of you who watch the art of comics my channel uh i went to the broad just a couple months ago and saw maybe even less than that maybe a month ago and saw some andy andy stuff so i'm excited to um see this so this is kind of fun excitement and what a beautiful beautiful building this is i'm really excited to see uh, both the art pieces and also the design of this building. Looks like this is, has a campus, like there was a museum across the street and a couple others, and it's right by uh, a big Shinto temple. So um, maybe if we have time, we'll do some of that too, depending on the light and everything. But let's go ahead and um, do it. Let's go. There's Andy. It's a gorgeous area outside too. This is really, really nice. They've been promoting this all over town. So I'm really curious to check this out. Um, I've been seeing posters for it everywhere. So it's like, okay, I gotta see what's up this um yeah they had me going around here let's see let's check it out hopefully they're cool with me recording i forgot to ask but i'm sure they will notify me if i'm breaking the rules here okay unfortunately i wasn't able to show you guys uh, videos because no video record was allowed but i'm going to show you right now a bunch of stills from the exhibit and I'll just say a little commentary. It was one of the best exhibits I've seen, like bar none. Uh, I've seen a fair amount, of course, mostly in the States, but uh, this was very well done, very thorough of Andy's work. And um, I've not, s there's some stuff here definitely that you've, you haven't seen before. Uh, it was really good. I'm gonna show a bunch of slides and so these are the pieces that I was able to photograph and uh, enjoy. Thanks, guys.
You know, as I leave the museum, uh, it's a beautiful design, by the way, a couple of thoughts, you know, said this before, but, you know, Andy's influence on pop art cannot be overstated. I guess one could argue that it's been stated enough, but, um, you know, some people talk about he it wasn't that good or didn't create anything new and it was just use the factory and other people's doing it. But really, it's like he was the first suit to synthesize this. And uh, I could take that bus, but I'm just going to walk. Screw it. Uh, and I think there's something to that, right? It's, you don't have to create a new technique. In fact, it'd be very challenging to. You synthesize things, and that's what he did. And he was the first one to really do that. And you have to... Looking at his work now, um, you know, decades in the future, it still holds up. It still holds up artistically and, and, and everything. So I like it. I'm a fan, believe it or not. And he might have been a bit of a neurotic guy, but he knew art. He, he had a good eye. You got to say that. So we're heading back. Anyway, that's the video for the uh, Warhol exhibition. Kyoto. Uh, my goal is to see some more art, probably go to a couple more museums. I'm going to go to the Manga Museum tomorrow. I'm going to try to record that. And I'll be going to some museums in Tokyo. So you guys know I'm all about art. So that's where this is at. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, matane, as the Japanese say.